Zach Charbonnet is the best running back in the country. Now that's a big, bold claim, but I have the tape to back it up, the all 22 footage. So while I pull up this tape and break it down for you, make sure to like and subscribe to the UCLA LAFD content, the number one source for UCLA football content. And now let's get into the film room. First play that I want to show you guys is going to put his cutback ability on display. Zach Charbonnet right here, DTR the quarterback, and Casimir Allen is the motioning receiver. And I'm pointing that out because this is a play that you're going to see quite often. It's going to be a theme here. Zach Charbonnet gets that handoff, and DTR and Casimir Allen, the motioning receiver, are going the other way to try to get this defensive player the edge player to commit to them so that they don't have to block him while Zach Charbonnet gets that ball. And check this out. Zach Charbonnet is supposed to go through this hole right here. And if I just rewind it so I can show you the assignments on this play, Michael Azike, the tight end, his assignment on this running play is to block the safety number 24. And then this number 17 cornerback is basically going to have nobody on him so he could easily make this tackle or at least slow down Zach Charbonnet so that someone over here can come in and get those big arms on Charbonnet because he's not going to be solo tackled by a cornerback. Let's be real. But Charbonnet understands this and he cuts it back up midfield, gets more yardage, ends up seeing number 17 right in the spotlights. And then what does he do to him? Jukes him out a little bit, and then a bunch of other Stanford defensive players come over and get him on the ground. It was a beautiful cutback, but I just want to put on display right here. I'm getting a little nitpicky. What do you see? You see this? Okay, and now I'm going to tell you. What is wrong right here is he takes, he takes a few too many steps to cut it back. You don't want to see, I mean, that's like two or three wasted steps right there. He does a little hop, jump. You don't need to do all that. You just, what you want to do is you want to make one step, boom explosiveness just like i showed you in that jake bobo video where i showed how explosive he was on the get off but zach charbonnet still i mean i'm getting really nitpicky this is a great run by him and he is going all the way downfield he's going to finish every single one of these runs here's another one check this out this one's a little bit weird to me but zach charbonnet is going to get that ball this that same play design where this receiver and the quarterback both go this way check out the vision that zach charbonnet has and his awareness on this play because number 45 is the guy that they're trying to get to bite right here he doesn't do it check it out he keeps his eyes up and then starts going down the line of scrimmage to try to get this tackle on zach charbonnet and i think honestly this is this is, this is just my preference if zach charbonnet goes up right here into this open field i think he's running right through the arm tackle of number 45 i have full confidence in him but i think he is coached to go from the hash to the numbers to the sideline and take that ball all the way down the side of the field and up the field instead of just going up and you know making all these different weird moves i know a lot of coaches teach that that's probably what chip kelly is preaching so he doesn't go through this hole cuts it back right there that's that one step cut that you want to see from a running back goes over his offensive lineman who pancaked that man in the ground and now he's at those numbers going to the sidelines and runs out of bounds because that Stanford player number 45 finally is able to get his hands on him because way over here that's the guy who would have touched him up a little bit right there cuts it out can't even touch until he gets to the sideline beautiful play here's another one where he doesn't cut it back up to the midfield but he goes to the sideline instead. Check this out. The center is pulling on this play. It's kind of a weird one, but UCLA is really good with these pulling offensive linemen. Right here, there's a hole, and he would just have a one-on-one -on -one with the safety. That's another matchup where, again, I think Zach Charbonnet just smacks him in the mouth and runs downfield. But... I really do think Chip Kelly is preaching, get to those sidelines, and that's exactly what he does. So he's executing what his coach wants him to do. Get the heck off me. Shrugs that defender off, running down the field, finally gets pushed out of bounds, but he's still on his feet. Bro, check out the mustard that Zach Charbonnet brings on this play. This is not going to be a run, but it's going to be a pass. He's the outlet receiver, and check this out. DTR dots him up right here at the 30-yard line. He's got all this space to work with, but he has one, two, three Stanford defensive players coming after him. Let's see how he handles it. Oh, I just run out of bounds. Nope! Get off of me, and he's bringing them all to freaking rumble town i love seeing this check out this animosity between number 24 here and number 24 there even the ref is getting involved 
because he's saying, oh my goodness, I don't want Zach Charbonnet to put you in the grave, young man. An excellent display of patience and vision on this play by Zach Charbonnet. Look at this again, the same play design where DTR and the motioning receiver are committing to this side of the field and Zach Charbonnet is getting the ball to the opposite side. But this is not a well-blocked uh, blocked play. You can see the center is giving up a lot of pressure by the Stanford defensive lineman. I mean, really, you just got to tip your hat to that guy because he is penetrating on this play. But the patience and the cutback by Zach Charbonnet, the vision to see the hole when it's not even there, and then run right through it untouched. He was untouched on this play. I mean, really, check this out from the end zone view. Zach Charbonnet gets the ball right here, and then you see this hole a little bit open right there. That penetrating defensive lineman is really doing his work, but he is able to get upfield and just run right through the center of that defense. No one even gets a hand on him. <laughs> okay, check this out. DTR, I need you to dot my man up. Zach Charbonnet at the bottom of the screen. Check him out. Right there, gets a get off, and then he's got he's got to step on this guy. He's got to step on that guy. DTR, you throw him a ball right there, get him out down to like the 15, 10 yard line. I think Zach Charbonnet could come down with this pass because he's got a step on him from about the 35 and on, and he could totally get that for a 50 yard touchdown. But DTR doing what he does, check out the scrambling ability. But before you keep your eye too much on DTR, check out Zach Charbonnet noticing that this is now a running play and he's getting a block. He doesn't give up. He's always in the play. He's looking for contact for his quarterback because he's trying to get that protection for him. Zach Charbonnet is so explosive. And check, check this out because this one is actually kind of funny to me. This is that same play design you see at number 15 is the edge defender that they want to bite here. But he bites for about half a second. Notices Zach Charbonnet has the ball. And oh my goodness, this is just about the best running back I've ever seen. That's what's going through his head right here. So he's going to commit to Zach Charbonnet. And he's got this huge hole. And if I was him, I would just keep running downfield, right? But number 15, he knows that he is coming. And what he wants to do is not let him touch him. So boom, get that explosive step for the cut. It's only a one-step cut. That's what you want to see from a running back. And now he's going to the sideline, and he's going all the way down the field, getting some extra yardage. And also check this out. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but number 71, doing the work against number 24. That's the man who has been getting a little bit of some animosity to Zach Charbonnet. They got a little rivalry going on, but number 71, doing the work. This guy comes in and smacks him on the ground. And then he gets pushed from behind, but number 71 turns around, points at you, say, I got you. I got you on that play. This is just simply an NFL play. This is a play an NFL running back would make, but a really good NFL running back would make. Because there are people in the NFL that right here at this point where your offensive lineman is on the ground, you got this guy staring you down in the face, they would not cut this back. They would keep going, trying to get to the outside. But Zach Charbonnet, with the discipline and the understanding that he needs to trust his instinct, hops to the right side, goes to the middle of the field, and just running all the way, taking him to pound town. Zach Charbonnet gets all the way to the one-yard line. Dude, do you see this? Let me just take this back. This is where he was at. And then this is where he ends up at the one-yard line. Are you kidding me? Even when this UCLA offensive line doesn't give him much to work with, and let's watch this in real speed, he is able to make plays happen. I mean, that is an NFL play by Zach Charbonnet. And you don't think he has a nose for the end zone because of that last play? Well, check this out. One play later, gets the ball. Easy, quick cut right up the middle of the field. Charbonnet in the backfield right here. He's going to get this ball right up the center of the field. And check this out. Little cut right there. Running through arm tackles, the contact right there. Really, that was his head. And then this arm tackle right now. But sees number 21. It's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Instead of just running down the field, he's going to make a cut right here so that number 21 doesn't have a chance to get him. And now he's got his eyes up. He's looking for someone to hit. First man he sees is the ref. But he knows, heck, I can't be hitting the ref because he saved me from almost having a homicide on that one play with number 24. So what does he do? Next man, boom, the Stanford defensive player is getting all the smoke, number 23, getting driven 
into the ground. My goodness, Zach Charbonnet seeking contact. His vision and patience is just so good. He's got so many good attributes. And check this out, Zach Charbonnet squared up with this defensive player right here. And what does he do? Cuts it back. Man does not even get a hand on him. That's partially due to the UCLA offensive lineman getting that nice chip block right there. But then Zach Charbonnet cuts it back even more all the way down the center of the field. Stiff arm to number 24. Get the heck away from me. Jukes out this defender. Also, you can't even see him on the screen when he jukes him out. But check this out. Number 23, the tra trailing defender for Stanford. Gets that hand out. Boom. Chops it on the ball. And Zach Charbonnet, you can't have that ball way out here when you're running. You got to keep it closer to your chest. Keep it like your only child. And Zach Charbonnet getting up, looking at the ball. Oh, my goodness. All these Stanford players around it. But they end up screwing it up. And the UCLA receiver gets that ball. So fumble recovery. It, whoa, what's going on right there? You see number 24 just smack Zach Charbonnet while he's on the ground. Boom. What is that? Yeah, get him, Casimir. Yeah. I don't know what that's about. Check this out. Zach Charbonnet has a pass catcher. He's right here. He's going to be the outlet receiver. DTR gives him an opportunity. And check this out. This man is squared up with him. He's got two people right here. So if he cuts it back, he's going to be tackled. And he's got this man right here, the safety. So if he goes to the outside, he's just going to be tackled right about right there at the best. Okay. Now let's just check out what he does. Okay. Makes that man miss. Whoop. Makes that man miss. And then he keeps going down the field. It jumps over another man. Now check this out from the end zone view. Here he is. And now watch this. This is Austin Eckler-esque. He is just playing bubble soccer with these Stanford defenders. None of them can take him down. He jumps over that guy and just takes himself out of bounds. Wait, what? Okay, let's play a game here. So Zach Charbonnet is going to get a touchdown on this play. I want you to watch number 24, number 3, and number 21 because they're all going to have an opportunity to tackle Zach Charbonnet on this play. I'm just going to play it in this speed. He cuts it back, squared up with this guy, makes a miss. Number 3, boom, smacks him on the side. Number 21 doesn't even try to make an effort to tackle him because he knows Zach Charbonnet is just going to embarrass him, and he is high-stepping his way into the end zone. That is a grown man run. So that's the film. UCLA versus Stanford was Zach Charbonnet's best game of the season, and it wasn't even close. Absolutely dominated. But my question is, is Zach Charbonnet the best running back in college football in the entire country? Let me know what you guys think, because I think there is absolutely an argument to be made. Make sure to like and subscribe to the UCLA LAFB YouTube channel.